So Kilimani siku hizi ni, ni pipe yenye meomoka. Ukienda Kilimani utapata mahai rice building zime, zimejengwa mingi mingi hapo hivyo. So hata watu wa Kilimani saa hizi wanajifunza kuanika mangoda kama venye watu wa pipe wana anikanga mangoda hivyo kama zimeshikana shikana. E, Sakaja amepitisha law, ametoa limit ya kujenga high rise buildings. So this means that you can build a high rise building in Mudaiga, you can build a high rise building in Karen, you can build a high rise building in uh, in Runda. Now you see this guy doesn't know anything about planning. He doesn't know anything about running a city. You know Nairobi actually is respected for being one of the greenest cities in in Africa. And this is because of uh, places like Mudaiga, places like Runda, places like Karen. Ukikuja Islando hakuna miti, ukikuja Islando hakuna green, you can't see green anywhere, you know? And even the city of I plan iwe, kuna kuna places ya kukuwe na green, na cheki kukuwe na hizo mansions, ikuwe meplaniwa poa kama Mudaiga hivi. So now if you bring high rises everywhere without even a plan, nimekuwa Karen Juzi Uko manze, saizu watu wameanza kujenga ma high rise. Kilimani ni was, kilimani kuna ma high rise building so hata watu wenye walikuwa masonko wamebaki baki huko wameanza kuhepa saizi hata ukikuwa na 30k unaweza afford nyumba kilimani huko hivyo si kama kitambo i know maybe wengi wenu na support hii plan mpya lakini hii plan mpya kuna venye pia inaharibu mji kuna kuna venye inaharibu city so what do you think do you think that the decision by Sakaja to allow high rise buildings in places like Mudaiga and Karen is good or you think this is something that it should have considered first before implementing it